What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here at About Trout, I do fly fishing how-tos, gear reviews, vlog stuff, and tying stuff. If that's what you guys want, I'm here to give the people what they want. So if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe, hit that like button, all the buttons, all the fun stuff. And if it looks like I'm about to go on a whaling trip from Boston and throw harpoons in the Moby Dick, that's because I am. But let's talk about today's video. So today I'm gonna to tie a fly from the mind of Tom Sawyer, who is the manager of the fly shop in Albuquerque, Los Pinos Fly Shop. And coming at you today, we are tying the Justin Zeber. <laughs> this is a zebra midge variation. I love to fish it on a jig hook. It's been a huge producer this winter on the San Juan, and I'm sure it's going to work at go. any of your local tailwaters or anywhere where there's midges, which is pretty much everywhere. Um, this I'm tying on Falling Mills uh, jig short in a size 18, and I have a two millimeter bead matched up on there. For this fly, you're also going to need some silver wire in size small some white glow bright floss shade 16 and some hens spectra 46. if you don't have this at your local fly shop uh, you can also just sub in ice dub as well this is a great midge pupa imitation uh, there's just something about the glow bright that really uh it just works so without further ado let's get it popping just gonna do a couple securing wraps make sure that is in nice and tight Give that a trim. All right, we're gonna take some size small silver wire. This is a very, very straightforward pattern. There it is right there. So I'm gonna take the wire and I'm gonna push it into the slot of the bead. You can also, I also like the falling mill jig force in a size 18. Um, it's a shallow, it's a more aggressive, um, bend on the eye so it, it ties a little cleaner but this is all i got so we're just gonna wrap this back to about where the barb should be nice touching wraps all right we good now i'm gonna just wrap forward same thing touching wraps Now, if I was tying these before a guide trip, I wouldn't do this step, but because I'm YouTube tying, let's get after it. We're gonna do a half hitch, put my finger right in there, make like a figure four, come over. I'm gonna take my bobbin cradle, nest it right in there, grab the wire, and this is gonna give me those beautiful even wraps. So I'm just wrapping this wire up and i'm gonna leave about a hook eye behind the bead a hook eye is i'm not gonna wrap all the way up to the bead because if it's a little flatter in there that glow bright's gonna sit in there a little better so just helicopter this bad boy off hey those look pretty even i think all right so all you need is one strand of glow bright floss in white which is right here you can see some of the ends are frayed so you can just kind of wet your fingers stroke them back like that, let's get this trash out of here. All right, I'm gonna reel my thread up. You just need one turn of this stuff. I'm gonna do a couple loose wraps and pull down. And if it gets sloppy, it's okay, because we're gonna cover it with the, uh, the dubbing, but I'm gonna come right back to just behind um, that wire. And then I'm just gonna take my hook point, kind of touch the point of my or touch my scissors come straight up pull it back there you go now it looks all splayed out but when it gets wet it'll go limp and fold over itself and it kind of looks like a it really looks like a pupated midge um, now that we have that in there we're going to grab some hens spectra shade 46. if you don't have spectra you can use ice dub i find that the spectra dubs a lot tighter though so just do a dubbing noodle back in here, twist it up. We're gonna reel in the bobbin a little bit, and then we're just gonna build this nice nice 
little collar. That's good enough. Yank down on your thread to seat it behind the bead. Now it's time to whip finish. So we're gonna come in one, two, three, pull it tight. Just gonna do two whip finishes. You could add super glue. I'm not going to. Oh. <laughs> well, I broke it, but anyway, it's got a second whip finish in there, so it's good to go. Pat yourselves on the back, everybody, because you just tied the Justin Zebra. Love it, fish it, let me know how it works for you. Um, this has really become a go-to wand fly this winter. The water's stained, I can get away with some bigger profile stuff. We've hooked some really nice fish on it, um, and I hope it works for you. This is a little bit uneven, see how that, that's gonna bother me? But look, I can come in here and straighten it out. Look at that, beautiful. So, thank you Tom Sawyer from Los Pinos Fly Shop in Albuquerque, the Justin Zebra. Love it, fish it, let me know how it works for you and your local tailwaters. It's a super quick tie, really effective. Thanks so much everybody for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next video.